Instagram has now rolled out three different ways to view your feed. There's the original way, there is the chronological way, and then there is a brand new one as well. These are currently just being rolled out as a test. However, by the first half of this year, everyone will have access to this. Now, once you have access to this feature, it's gonna look like this here, where you have a toggle at the top of your home feed, which will give you three options. You've either got home, favorites or following. Now home is gonna be the normal algorithm experience where Instagram shows you content based off what they think you will most enjoy, based off how you interact with content, how you interact with other accounts, and they will rank it that way. So the people and topics and content you engage with the most will be towards the top, whereas the stuff you don't engage with will be down towards the bottom. Now, the new feature coming into play here is going to be a favorites feed, where you can favorite certain creators, and then they are the only people you see content from in this feed. Now, when announcing this update, the CEO of Instagram, Adam Mazzeri, said that he's likely to favorite some of his siblings, close friends, and favorite creators so that he never misses their posts. And this is probably the best way to use it. If you have like your best friends, your favorite couple creators, is maybe your family as well and you've got them there so that maybe you've got 10 or 15 people and if you're only checking Instagram for a couple minutes you can just flick it to favorites see what they're all up to see what they've been doing and then you've you've seen it all you don't miss any content and I think the reason they've added this feature is because that was a big concern with just having the chronological is that you would miss content from people that you like because if your favorite creator posted 12 hours ago there might be 150 posts that have been made since then so you would never see it so introducing the favorites tab allows you to switch across and see your favorites. And then finally, there is the following feed, which is essentially chronological algorithm where you see content based on when it was posted. So the top posts will be the most recent ones and then you scroll down. Interestingly enough, Adam, who is the CEO of Instagram, said that you won't see all the content from people you follow because chances are there's just too much of it. So if you're using the home feed, you're unlikely to see it all. If you're using the chronological feed, you're unlikely to see it all. Again, hence the addition of favorites. It will, however, be interesting to see if Instagram put recommendations into the chronological feed because currently in the home feed, there is recommended content from people you don't follow. Every sort of four or five posts, I will see a recommended post and it'll be because I like someone's photo or because I follow someone, they will recommend similar content It'll be interesting to see if that's in chronological. Now, as far as how this is gonna impact creators, it'll be interesting to see because many people will be using the app in a different way. Some people will simply spend only one or two minutes a day on Instagram and they will just look at their favorites. Other people may go through all of these feeds and use them all. Some people might just use home, some people might just use following, and it really depends what your audience choose as to how this will affect you. If the majority of your audience are people who are just gonna consume Instagram content as it already is and just use the home feed, then chances are nothing's going to change. If a lot of your audience are maybe older people who remember the chronological algorithm and prefer it that way, then a lot of them may switch back to predominantly using the chronological algorithm. And so what this will mean is you'll probably see a massive fluctuation in engagement because if you're posting when all of your audience are active, you'll likely show up higher in their feeds and get more early engagement. However, if you're making a post when your audience is not as active, and maybe this is because you're posting three or four or five times per day, then you're gonna be way down the bottom of their feeds by the time they go on and check, which means you'll likely get a lot less engagement. Anyway, I just wanted to keep this video short, update you on what's happening. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. I'd be really interested to see if you've got the feature, when you got it, how it's working, how this is affecting your reach and so on. Now, if you wanna get free weekly emails from me giving you insights into Instagram growth, marketing and monetization, I've left that link down below, ignewsletter.com. I've also created a few free courses on Skillshare. You just have to go and get a free one month trial. You can access the courses and then you can leave if you choose. That's down below as well. Hope this video was insightful. See you in the next one.